At any time you're trying to understand what a consumer is likely to do in the future, we have technology to help you understand that based on how the consumer has behaved in the past. You can take that same technology and apply it to all kinds of things. And so if we look at transaction data, we can develop a point of view about whether a consumer is likely to click on a link on a website or whether they're likely to respond to a particular product category offer. Increasingly, people are, are interested, companies are interested in making data-driven decisions and using data to make very specific um, communications and recommendations to their customers. The data that's been most available has been this credit card payment data, which is a you know, pretty good indicator for assessing credit worthiness. But if we're trying to do other things, like figure out what you're likely to buy, we look at your transaction data with a retailer. And there's, and there's many other data sets that we can look at now. There's a whole data security and privacy risk of collecting all this information. So this type of data, it would be very easy, uh, if I got a hold of it, to use that uh, to trick folks into clicking on links, installing malware, um, or performing identity theft. Maybe they abstract the identity from it, uh, but it's still associated back to things like uh, your cell phone number and being able to target ads on a mobile device because they know it's your mobile device. Um, as we think through how to increase the lifetime value of a customer and make sure that the offers are really relevant, we use the same technology. And so kind of true one-to-one -one marketing where we understand you and what you're likely to respond to and how you're likely to behave, we take that and we put it into the marketing space. We can have a level of, of um, specificity we never had before at leveraging new data sources.